What started as a post on Twitter turned into a massive grind to see how many achievements I could complete in 24 hours. For those that missed the Twitter post, I basically was talking about the current state of clan battles and how much they suck. I showcased how nine of the top 10 clans were all advertising their Discord server. The idea is simple. You join the Discord. If the clan can use you, they put you on their official team until someone with bigger stats comes along and you get booted off. Man, don't you just love when you get on a team and grind for and donate millions of gems to just to get booted off because someone had one point higher than you. Gosh, that's the clan I want to be on. I was simply pointing out how these clans weren't really clans at all and things needed to change. Like, I don't know, locking who can join once a new battle starts. Then you can have a recruitment period, get the team together for the next battle. You know, like how every sport does it. I made the post and almost immediately the top clans came after me. Bro's just angry the second non-YouTubers are number one, LMAO. Well, it's just mad because we're too strong for him. Dollar on top. I responded with this simple fact. You really think I couldn't get on any clan I reached out to? After all, I am a YouTuber who grinds this game a lot. Every clan battle, I'm literally one of the top performers. But of course, the second I said that, someone chimed in and said, you have 43 points right now. No clan is letting you in currently. You need to humble yourself. Someone else stated that I just simply needed to lower my ego. I could do that. Or I could spend a measly 24 hours proving them wrong by getting as many achievement points as possible. Now, I'm not going to admit I am only at 43, but that is going to change today because today we're going to be doing a lot of these achievements. First off, I've got this one right here. Looks like I could fill a thousand coin jars to get two stars and then another 5,000. I have 2,600 coin jars. And the question is, say take a coin jar over here to this small little area right here. Can we break it really fast? All right, and it's been broken, and it took 36 seconds to do. We're gonna go to the end. We're gonna set up shop right here, and we're gonna put down another coin jar. Does it collect quicker? And the answer to that question is yes. Yes, it does. It actually collects a whole 10 seconds quicker here at this spot. 10 seconds multiplied by like a thousand coin jars. And we've saved ourselves about 15, 20 minutes. So we are going to set up shop right here. We're going to throw on the auto farm. We're going to get our coins potions out as well as the damage potions. And we're going to place down a whole bunch of coins flags. This is good for two hours. Oh, I might as well also go ahead and start eating a bunch of fruit because we're also going to need to do this fruit achievement. I was getting this broken in 25 seconds before now i'm getting it broken in uh that was in 10 oh. seconds <laughs> we know the plan i'll see you in two hours all right, so it's been about two hours and I've completed the thousand coin jar achievement. Now we're moving on to the 5,000. It's probably going to take a minute. Now, if you base all this off the reward system, you get points by how many stars you see available. You got the one, the two, the three, the four, but it actually doesn't count for the achievement status here. Because if we click on this, I should have gotten two stars for this one achievement. But when we go to the clan, I only ended up going up one point, which automatically tells me that if I am on the last version and am not anywhere close to it, something like this one, I probably don't need to waste my time getting it because at the very end, I'm only going to get one point. And because we're trying to do as much as we can in 24 hours, we're definitely going to need to stay looking towards the lower ones. So like where you got to buy 300 items from the vending machines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now, if we turn our attention to my Hippo Melon Clan Discord chat, we actually see in the tips on the current clan battle. One of the thing is finding the location of stuff for achievements. Here's where the big chest stuff is. Here's all the vending machine stuff. And here's the merchants. And it says when collecting the merchants and vending machines, make sure you do both at the same time, as well as your daycare and breaking big chests so you can focus on multiple things at once. So I'm first going to fly over to the daycare area and actually start dropping in some pets. I better make it to the point where I can put the most pets in the daycare at once. We're going to need to use these daycare slots. So I'm going to add one, two, three, all the way up to 41 at once. But it makes you wonder, what's the cap? I asked my Discord server and they came through and said 55. We're at 41 now, which means I got to go on a bit of a hunt. You could buy eight for two million, which is a little bit more than what they're worth. Or if you have a friend like I do, who is already maxed on the daycare slots, you can have them send it to you. So there we go. 19 all for free, just because I have cool friends. And just like that, we're maxed out. We can enroll 54 Empyrean 
Dominion Dragons and a Vibrant Well. Why not? It'll be there for two hours and then we'll rinse and repeat. We got an achievement complete and now we're at 45. And from this point, we'll just go down the line hitting every single one of these vending machines, merchants, and big chests. And then once we've done it all, we'll hop servers and do it again. Oh, but there is one other thing I'm going to be doing. We're going to go all the way back to spawn and we're going to do something that I actually wouldn't recommend. You see, I have got a lot of flags and I'm also 1,000 in of getting the flag master because we're trying to hurry up and get all the achievements i'm just gonna start at the beginning we're gonna right click we're gonna place down the max there we go 25 diamond flags in that one and then we're gonna come to level two and we're gonna do it again level three do it again every single area is going to get 25 flags and when we get to levels with the things we're gonna buy some stuff and then we'll rinse and repeat and move on montage baby I have put down 25 flags in 99 different areas. You actually only get the achievement as the flag runs out, not as you place them down. So now I have to sit here for the next two hours. I might as well do a few other of these achievements. I'm gonna eat some fruits. Then we're gonna go back to buying things from the merchants, the vending machines, and also breaking some big chests. I still got another hour and 39 minutes. I think this one right here I can do pretty easily. The Sorcerer Supreme upgrades 7,500 potions. I should just be able to like start upgrading some of these lower ones to the bigger ones. We got literally 2,900 potions here. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, we're going to do that one. We'll do that one. And there we go. It was done. That took like two seconds. <laughs> we're slowly working on this one. All of these four have been completely done. This one's done. This one's going to be done more quickly than I thought it would be. All I have to do is just set up shop somewhere and let my pets go to town while I collect all the orbs. Merchants are going to take a little bit. We could do the magic machine. Seeing as I've done it zero, I can craft this. Boom, done. Oh my God, that's going to take forever. Plus I need like more shards and I don't have any. I probably would need to go to the trading server to buy them, but I can't leave the server I'm in because then all of my flags get put back into my inventory and I have to go manually place them all down over and over again, 99 levels. I don't want to do that. So we'll wait on that one. I could go fusing. I'm slowly working on this one as well. I think what I'll do is I'll go back to actually doing this coin jar because I can do that AFK. It's getting lunchtime and I'm hungry. And I actually found out the best place to break coin jars is level six inside these presents as well bonuses for the coin jars and it's done yeah see much faster <laughs> while i'm here this number is also going up as well as this number so i think i'll just sit here for two hours and we'll come back and see where we're at all right, it's been about another hour and a half. We have made some moves on the filling the 5,000 coin jars. We've already gone up 2,000. This area right here is legit the best area you can do this with. Now, while I was sitting here waiting on this, I also went back and started putting down a lot of flags. And I put flags down on every level from level one all the way to level 25. I have done everything I need to to get this thing completed. I just uh, have to wait an hour and 22 minutes minutes for it to be done. As you can see, it's slowly going up. I also finished the orb god and with everything, it has brought my completed level up to level 48. And since we're about six hours into this challenge, I thought maybe it was time to go through all these achievements and figure out what's doable and what isn't. Enter in this spreadsheet right here where I've got every achievement that I have left to get. There's 31 of them followed by the level that they are and how much I've done of that current level. So what I should be able to do is just go through here, sort by smallest to largest, and we'll get the level that it is. And I also included the is it real enchantment, which for those that know is going up the staircase over and over and getting the huge angel dog, which only two people in the world have ever done. So uh, yeah, it's a level 10,000. <laughs> but if we go through here, we can start seeing some of the stuff that's going to be easily done, like all these level ones and stuff that's going to be almost impossible to do like this one right here, which is eat 10,000 fruit, 7,500 pets in 
the daycare, but it's not just the 7,500 pets in the daycare. It's the 7,500 plus the 2,500. So that's 10,000 pets in the daycare I'm going to need to actually complete this right here. Not saying it's not doable, but yeah, it's definitely not doable in the 24 hours, which basically means this isn't doable. This isn't doable. And this one is uh, maybe doable. I'm going to label things red if they completely just aren't even worth trying to do. Green if I'm definitely going to do it in this 24 hours. And yellow if I can do it, but it's going to be kind of hard. And while I'm doing that, you can hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment how many achievements you've actually completed. It's done! I am now up to 49. And I've got the list that I've needed to figure out what my next steps are. As you can see here, everything is color-coded. So with these six green here, that should easily put us at about the 55 range. And so if we really want to have this video to be successful, it's going to come down to this yellow category here and how many I get done. We are 4,000 away from the mini chest. We're about 1,000 away on the fruits. And breaking the comments is basically like breaking the coin jars as uh, you can do those pretty quickly. The purchasing 700 items, the breaking the big chest, the vending machine items, that's just going to be dealing with a whole bunch of server hops. But I think what I'm going to start with right now is this right here, the using the magic machine 100 times and then using it 350 times. Because actually, when you think about it, it's a pretty simple achievement to get. Uh, if you have a bunch of diamonds and well, guess what? I do. So now that we're done with the flags, I don't have to stay in the server anymore. So let's head on over to the trade server and see if we can buy a whole bunch of magic. All right, shopping is done. We got 5,000 magic shards and 1,400 bucket of magic. I don't know how much I need for these achievements. I might have went a little bit overboard. There's really only one way to find out, and that's to start crafting things. I know I just crafted a bunch of these and I know it's probably not for the best, but I just wanted a full team of the magic orbs. Now that that's done though, we'll get a few of these and we'll buy the rest of these charm stones. All right, well, as we can see, that's done. And uh, yeah, I definitely did overbuy. <laughs> 582 charm stones. I'll open those in a later time because for now, it should be about time to go pick up my pets in the daycare and do it all over again. Claim those and enroll these. We're now up to 51 points. And I think what I'm going to do is actually work on getting the vending items, the chests, and the purchasing of the 700 items. I think I also need to go and get some more pinatas. That way I can spawn in pinatas and break them. I need 250. I've done 20 and I have 57 on me. We will buy a 175 more. I've gotten 265. Don't ask me how much it costs. Now we're going to go on another shopping spree. Vending machines. All right, I'm not going to lie. It's been about six hours and I have been so busy grinding a whole bunch of different achievements that I haven't actually completed any, but we've gotten a lot closer. One of the things is this right here, the 20,000 mini chest. We're about a thousand away from winning. We're 400 away there. The daycare is pretty much gone and I do still have to go fishing at one point and we're really close on the fruits, but the things like the fusion frenzy, the merchants and this coin drain is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. You go to a vending machine and you buy four items and then you just have to wait for like 20 minutes. No matter, I have found something that I can do though. Now, as I said, I'm really close to getting this mini chest insanity and it's all because I have these chest mimics and these treasure hunters that allow more mini chests to drop. There's one right now. But we can streamline this a little bit and I think it's time to set up an overnight grinding. I'm gonna eat some fruits and then I'm gonna set off some comets. They break really fast. I'm about halfway done with this achievement right here. But as you can see, this is 2490. And if I put down one comet and break it, I actually get two points per one comet broken. So I just got to go find about 1250 comets real quick. There we go. 1500 comets gives me 3000 points, which is just enough to hit the 5000 mark. So all I got to do now is set up a macro and let it run all night. So I've got tiny task on and it's just spamming, opening the comet over and over and over again. I don't have to do anything. It's uh 20 after two where I am and uh, it's pretty late. So I'm going to go to bed, get like a few hours of sleep, maybe like three or four. And then in the morning, we'll wake up early and continue the grind. See you later, gamers. Good 
morning, gamers. We now have gotten 54 things completed. The comments are done. The mini chests are done. And I've made more headway on the daycare, on the big chests, and on the vending machines. As you can see, pretty much everything in this area is still not even been touched. On top of which, I've noticed that this one and this one are also haven't been touched yet. Meaning that they're probably going to be put in the red of things that I'm not going to be able to do this video. In fact, this one up here, which is pop 200 balloon gifts. They have joined countless servers and have to go through 99 different levels. I pop it and uh, we're only up to 14 out of 200. One of the easiest challenges I thought there was going to be is basically uh, turned into kind of a really hard one that I might not do. Today is the day we finish this challenge. Got about seven hours left and I've got a few achievements that I can pretty much complete right away. First off, the eating 4,500 fruit with the click of this button. That's done. Also, if we head on over to the fuse machine and I fuse a couple of pets. Now that one's also done. Puts us up to 56, which means now I get to turn my attention back to the coin jars, as well as the massive amounts of pinatas that I have. So I'm gonna set up a macro and get it done. All right, the macro is set. This thing right here is just gonna go through and collect all the chests in every server before leaving and then just starting over again. What I've got going on here is pretty much the game plan for the rest of the video. Everything in the yellow, I will be able to do before the 24 hour challenge is up. All the things below that, are things that I can do, but uh, are gonna be very hard and definitely after the 24 hours. Anything in blue is time locked, which means they might be easy, but it's just gonna take a long time to do because things like the daycare, you can only put in 50 pets per two hours. Fruits, you have to wait till they run out, so on and so forth. The red's just very grindy. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna do it, so. <laughs> but uh, we're at 60 now. So like we're on our way up to like this mid 60s with the completion of these items right here. I'm gonna let them finish for a little bit and I'm actually gonna go work on this computer which is actually my second setup that I've been working on and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of recording on it that way I can still get videos out whilst also doing things here anyway wish me luck gamers and for the next three hours my account was in a hardcore grind getting things done like the pinatas the big chest fishing while all that was going on I was working on some videos and as the minutes tick down to zero all that was left was to see how far I had gotten in 24 hours. 64, that's the answer. In 24 hours, I have gone up 21 achievement points. And looking through the achievements that I have left, some of which I can do pretty easily with some extra time. I will make a personal guarantee that by the end of this, I will be in the 70s. To the people that told me to humble myself or check my ego, don't you ever doubt me again. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this journey with me, gamers. Good luck in your achievement completion journey as well. If you get bored while grinding, go ahead and click this next video for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, as there is plenty more content where this came from.